Hello YouTube, coming to you live from outdoors today. Hey, I have a question for you. Have you ever thought about how many managers face ethical dilemmas professionally? What if I told you that according to a recent survey conducted by the Ethics and Compliance Initiative, 90% of managers reported high rates of observed misconduct in businesses. You see, in my 20 plus years of leadership journaling, I've gathered that it's not always as clear as you might think. The real challenge is choosing between what is right and right. Neither of these is absolutely acceptable from an ethical approach. Let's consider the following perspective. A leader introduces a work from home policy to provide flexibility and improve employee satisfaction. Fantastic, right? Now it seems like a win-win. Less commuting for employees, lower overheads for the company, but consider this. Some employees may struggle with the blurred boundaries between work and home, which may lead to burnout. Others, especially junior team members, might miss the on-the-job learning opportunities naturally occurring in shared workspaces. So naturally, this is an ethical dilemma. That's not immediately obvious, but important to consider. Now let's discuss three ways to solve an ethical dilemma. The first is to refute the dilemma. The situation must be carefully analyzed. In some cases, the existence of the dilemma can logically be refuted. Second, the value theory approach. Choose the alternative that offers the greater good or the lesser evil. Third, find an alternative solution. In some cases, the problem could be reconsidered and new alternative solutions may arise. Bonus tip. I'm also reminded of Kidler's ethical model that helps us navigate dilemmas. For example, the first is truth versus loyalty. Choosing between honesty and maintaining harmony. Think, is it better to voice your doubts or support unconditionally? Second, individual versus community. Balancing personal good against the larger group's benefit. Ask, should limited resources go to one person or several? Third, short-term versus long-term. Juggling immediate needs and future goals. Contemplate, is the short-term pain worth long-term gain? Four, justice versus mercy. Weighing rule enforcement against showing compassion. Again, consider, do you apply the penalty or do you show understanding? Using Kidder's model will help you identify your dilemma type, emphasize with all sides, consider the consequences, and guide us by our values. Now, it's also important for us not to forget fellow influencers like Jordan Peterson, Simon Sinek, who have elaborated in depthly on this topic, encouraging conscious, empathetic decision making. Want to dig deeper? I recommend digging up resources from the Harvard Business Review and tools like Ethics Unwrapped. So, what ethical dilemmas have you faced? How did you navigate them? Share your ethical leadership stories in the comments below. Remember, the purpose of this channel is to grow together, amplify our knowledge nuggets and spread wisdom. Did you enjoy this video? I know I sure did taking it from outside. If so, please don't forget to ring that bell, click the like button, and let's keep the conversation going by commenting and sharing this video. Because again, sharing equals knowledge. All right, YouTube, until next time.